So what's up with this Harlem Shake business? I think I saw my first video of it about three weeks ago, and ever since then I cannot get away from it. Seems like everyone these days, these days are doing it. It's like the new fad. That is a word, isn't it? Something now. Wasn't before. Huh. Anyway, decided to do a little digging on it and discovered they're doing it wrong. What? Yeah. Anyway, apparently the original dance was created in 1981 by a guy named Al B. And the original name of the dance was called Al B. Piffy, right? Well, I guess it was inspired by a dance called over the dance or move called the chicken noodle soup. That's a bit of a mouthful, if you know what I'm saying. Yo, you're doing the chicken noodle soup. You're picking it, dude. Woo. Anyway, as the dance got more and more popular, they renamed it the Harlem Shake because it was invented in Harlem, New York. Totally didn't want to nickname it the New York Shake because that's already a wonderfully delicious shake, I think. Sounds like one anyway. Anywho, it's been in several music videos since, but it got really popular in 2006 when a couple of dudes threw it in a music video for a song called Let's Get It, which you can look up on YouTube, but if you don't want your eyes burned out of your sockets, I suggest you just take my word for it. So, in February of this year, 2013, a song hit YouTube called The Harlem Shake, and ever since then, Justice has not been done to this song. The dance, I mean. Justice for the dance. That, it gives a lot of people a chance to rock out in front of the camera, dress up in like costumes and bounce around like a bunch of whatevers. No, no, I'm not doing the Harlem Shake. Just say, I'm not doing this. Whatever this is. And there's my version. Comment on the video or like or subscribe. It would be much appreciated. Peace out. Oh, I hate that, actually. I take that back. Goodbye.